Do I cannot hear you? There must be some problem at your end. I cannot hear you. Anyways, let me start that video again. Everybody, first see the video. After that, I will ask you the question. I mean, I, mean, I will give you a chance to ask me a question. All right? First, see the video. Let me play the video again and everybody see it carefully. Boy, we are parts of speech and noun and pronoun and verb and adjective and adverb and preposition and conjunction. An interjection. Okay, okay. Your parts of speech. Your noun, your pronoun, your verb, your adjective, your adverb, your preposition, your conjunction, and your interjection. Let me count. One. Is it hearable to all of you? Can you all hear it? Sabko awaaz aa rahi hai? Kanja, can you hear the sound of the video? Those students, Anaya, can you hear it? Kisa, can you hear it? Okay, those students who cannot hear it, check at your end. There must be some problem because most of the students are able to hear the sound of the video. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight parts of speech. All right, but what's a part of speech? A part of speech is a word with a special job in a sentence. Uh, what do you mean? Just as a person can be a doctor, lawyer, engineer, artist, singer, or driver, a word can be a noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, etc. Just as a doctor has a special job in the community, a noun has a special job in the sentence. Oh, okay. So now... Tell me a little about yourself. What do you do? Ahem, I'm a noun. A noun is a word that names a person, place, animal, thing, or idea. Let me repeat that. A noun is a person. No, no. A noun is a word that names a person. Oh, okay. A noun is a word that names a person, place, animal, thing, or idea. Can you give me some examples of noun? No problem. Here you go. Sheila is playing with a ball in the park. Can you find a word in this sentence that names a person? Sheila. Yes, Sheila is a noun. Now, can you find a word in the sentence that names a thing? Mm -hmm. That's right, ball is a noun. Can you find one more noun in the sentence? Uh, park is the name of a place. That's awesome, you found all the nouns. There are thousands and thousands of nouns. Here are some nouns. There are different types of nouns. You'll learn about them in another video. Wow. Thank you now. You made it easy for me. Now, pronoun, can you tell me a little about yourself? Sure, I'm pronoun. 
A pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun. Look at these sentences. Harry is a boy. Harry lives in London. London is a big city. Now look at these sentences. Harry is a boy. He lives in London. It is a big city. The words he and it are pronouns. They replace the nouns Harry and London. Words like I, you, he, she, it, we, and they are pronouns. You learn more about pronouns in another video. Thank you, pronoun, for that great introduction. Now, who's next? I am verb. A verb is a word that shows action, being, or possession. Let me give you some examples. I jump. Jump is a verb. It tells about action. Words like jump, eat, sleep, walk, read, swim, and drive tell about different actions. They are verbs. He is my friend. The word is tells about being. M, is, are, was, were, all these words tell about being. They are verbs. I have a car. Look at the word have. It shows possession. I have a car means I possess a car. Have, has, and had are verbs that show possession. Well, let me repeat. A verb is a word that shows action, being, or possession. We'll learn more about different types and tenses of verbs in another video. Now, adjective, it's your turn. Hello, I'm adjective. An adjective is a word that describes a noun. It tells about what kind, how many, how much, what color, how old, how big, etc. For example, what kind of flower? A big flower. Big is an adjective. It describes the noun flower. What color flower? A red flower. Red is an adjective. It describes the flower. How many flowers? One flower. One is an adjective. It tells us more about the flower. Now look at some adjectives here. And don't you worry, we'll learn more about adjectives in another video. We'll learn adjectives that describe people, food, weather, feelings, and many, many more. It's my turn now. I'm adverb. Okay, adverb. Tell us about yourself. An adverb is a word that adds to the meaning of a verb, adjective, or another adverb. Let's see some examples. The little children played. Here, little is an adjective and played is a verb. Let's add more information to these words. The very little children played well. Very and well are adverbs here. You get these adverbs by asking the question how. How little? Very little. Played how? Played well. How well? Extremely well. Extremely and well. Both are adverbs. Let's ask one more question. Played when? Yesterday. Yesterday is an adverb too. So, if you want to get an adverb, just ask the question how, when, or where to a verb, adjective, or another adverb. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And did you know a lot of adverbs can be made by adding ly to an adjective? You can see these examples. Thank you, adverb. That was awesome.
Now, let me introduce myself. I'm preposition. Go ahead, preposition. Sure, a preposition is a word that shows the relation of a noun or pronoun to another word in the sentence. Can you please give us some examples? No problem, here you go. A preposition can tell the position of something. The cat is on the table. The table is under the tree. A preposition can tell the time when something happens. Our test is on Monday. The sun sets in the evening. Here are some common prepositions. Well, thank you, preposition. We have a different video where we tell you everything about prepositions. Please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our awesome grammar videos. Whose turn is it now? Ah, you. Conjunction. There you go. Hi, I'm conjunction. A conjunction is a joining word. It connects words and parts of a sentence together. Look at these two sentences. He is singing. She is dancing. You can join them together with a conjunction. He is singing and she is dancing. Karma is singing, but his sister is reading. And and but are two very common conjunctions. Now read these sentences. The conjunctions are in red. Say what parts they are joining or connecting. Last, but not the least, interjection. Welcome. It's my turn, yay! I'm interjection. An interjection is a word that expresses a sudden or strong feeling. Here are some common interjections. Wow, thank you, interjection. Thank you, everybody. It was great knowing all of you parts of speech. Now, do you want a free worksheet for this lesson? Just visit the link in the description below. We have hundreds of free grammar lessons and worksheets for you. But wait a minute. Each. I'm the... Okay, everyone. All right. So, who will tell me that what you guys have understood after watching this video? Who is going to tell me anything about this video? Yes, Maria. Miss, I have learned that a part of speech is used. That they have their own job in a sentence to make the sentence better and more gram and more grammar. Yes, exactly. You are right. And I've also learned that there are eight types of parts of speech. Very nice. There are eight types of parts of speech. Very good. Amazing. Yes, Daniel. Teacher, you have written to the guy. I will not be able to be met. No. Thank you. Okay, Zara. Uh, do you want to say something? What you have learned from this video? What do you understand with this video? Can you tell me? Zara? Can you tell me what have you learned from this video? Parts of the speech. Yes, very nice. Parts of the speech. Can you tell me how many parts of the speech are there? Okay, can you tell me any two parts of speech names? Preposition, interjection. Very nice, Zara. Amazing. Very nice. Very good. Okay. So, who will tell me that what is the job of pronoun? Pronoun ke baare mein kisi ko samaj mein aaya that what is pronoun and what is the job of pronoun? 
Kanza, Inaya, Hunain, Kabir, Jafar, Abdulalvi, Are, Zayan. Dua, uh, Dua, if you are done with your hair styling, can you please tell me? It's okay, it's okay. It's totally fine if you haven't understood uh, after watching this video because this is a new topic and you have just watched this video one time. I'm going to post this video in your homework section and I want you all to see this video two to three times before coming in tomorrow's class. All right. Now, let me give you a little explanation about parts of a speech. And if you want to write it down, you can. The parts of a speech indicates how the word functions in a meaning as well as grammatically within the sentence. There are eight parts of a speech which we are going to study. The number one is noun. The number two is pronoun. The number three is verb. The number four is adverb. The number five is preposition. The number six is conjunction. The number seven is interjection. Who will tell me the last one? 
कौन सा एक रह गया इसमें से जाफर Very nice, Aris. Adjectives. The last which is left is adjectives. All right. The parts of a speech indicates how the word function in meaning as well as grammatically within the sentence. There are eight parts of speech: noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection, and adjective. This is your homework. I'm gonna post one video in your homework section. Try to watch this video, that video, two to three times before coming in tomorrow's class, and try to learn these names of parts of speech before tomorrow. All right. then we are going to move forward towards the explanation of these parts of speech okay everyone that's it for today sabne likh liya hai ye write it down fast very nice ayan can i stop sharing it and end the class if all of you done is everybody done how much time you guys want Very nice, Zara. Maryam, are you done? I am just giving you two more minutes, and after that, I will end the class. Now I'm done. Okay, everyone. That's it for today. Allah Hafiz. Take care of yourselves. See you tomorrow. Yes, Sabika. Yes, sir. Bika, you are supposed to write it down. Okay. Allah Hafiz.